Thanks for checking out Scotty's Hobbies. Today I'm looking at this Dodge Charger. I'm doing a smoke evap leak detection uh, diagnosis on this vehicle, but I wanted to show you guys the location of your eSIM or your vapor vent solenoid, kind of what it is on this vehicle. It is located at the passenger side rear wheel well. Let me show you right now. So this is pretty much your vapor vent solenoid on this vehicle. It's called the eSIM, so it's the leak detection pump as well. Here it is. You can see I have the inner fender liner off, a bunch of little plastic clips, and one screw. The one screw is located right here on the bottom side. I think it was a 7 millimeter I used to get it off. But your eSIM leak detection pump is right there. So here's the canister. Right on the top of the canister, you have your eSIM or your leak detection pump. I have it plugged off right now for doing the EVAP uh, leak test. But this is the location of your eSIM on a Dodge Charger. Now you can see, I found a picture of the 2011 to 2020-ish vapor canister and leak detection pump right here. I will circle on that one, the leak detection pump. But all of the Dodge Chargers of the, I believe, 2006 to 2023, they're all going to be in the same location, the leak detection pumps and the vapor canister, that is. Uh, they're all going to be there in that location, but they are going to have a little bit different look. The 2006 has a different style leak detection pump. It's a black one. It's circle. It's right on top or in front of the vapor canister as well. But the 2007 all the way up to 2023 use the little square box leak detection pumps and they're right on the top of the vapor canister. Even if the canister looks a little bit different, the newer ones are longer cylindrical. The older ones are square boxy style. So they're all in the same location. They might look a little bit different, but they are there. So don't hesitate to use this video to find the location on your your Dodge Charger. There will be a list of vehicles that this is good for uh, in the description below. If this video does help you out or if it's the one on your vehicle, make sure to comment below and let me know the year making model and everybody else know as well so they know it'll help them on their vehicle when they're watching this video. Thanks for checking out Scotty's Hobbies. Like, subscribe, share, and I'll see you guys on the next hopefully helpful video.